Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. Yon the Giant. Kindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash. Alright guys, welcome to Dark Souls 3. This is Zero, and this is going to be my first Western playthrough. So, I want to welcome you guys back. Thank you for all the support on the Japanese playthrough. This time we're going to be able to enjoy the, uh, the, the... Well, the dialogue you could always enjoy, I guess. But we will be able to go through and deal with all of the items and, and talk about things and, and explore the lore a little bit better and hopefully find some more secrets that we uncovered on the last walkthrough um, and make things a little bit a little bit better so hopefully this will be a different all over playthrough uh, by popular demand we'll be going cleric and I really had a hard time deciding between cleric and herald because um, I want to do a faith build for you guys um, but I know that I'm gonna need to do a faith uh, almost like a paladin type build I think I'm gonna go faith decks and not necessarily uh, and not necessarily faith strength because I think I'm gonna do a pyromancer strength build for the stream so we're gonna go cleric because we get the most faith right off the bat we also get a little extra luck which I think is going to help out. Um, this would have been the better bet to go if you want the, the decks right off the bat so you can carry some weapons. But what we'll do is we'll go Cleric. Uh, we'll get a little extra luck and some strong faith right off the bat. And then we will put our first couple of points into decks until we can use a weapon, say probably the Katana, uh, moving forward. So uh, that's what we're going to do there. Cleric is what we'll pick. 
I think I'm still going to take the fire gem at this. I, it was debating between the soul so that we could get another level or two, but um, I, just the way that the upgrades work and the infusions work, I don't know if I'm going to get like a raw gem or be able to do anything like that soon, and I know that you can't do blessed weapons until a couple bosses in. So we're going to have to take that fire gem for now, and hopefully it'll help us out so we can always change it up. I uh, did a pretty much an albino-looking character for the caster, and I think I'm just going to go the same for this guy. So here you go, guys. This is... Well, we can change the hair. Let's just change the hair real quick. Uh, build the uh, physique. The head. No, I don't want to get into that too much. Another face detail. Hair. There we go. Let's change the hair. So a cleric should have. Uh, don't want to make him. Ooh. Let's do this. Let's do like a Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan. I can't go that crazy. He's already white, so maybe we'll go black hair. All right. Anyway, that's as good as we're gonna get. Finalize the creation and start the game. All right, guys, so I will... Uh, all the cutscenes are going to be in. We're going to go through items as we find them. I mean, obviously, things like Titanite Shards, I'm not going to continuously read over stuff like that, but I do want you guys to see as much as you can. Um, I'll try to make a video per area, and if there's anything you guys want to see or any suggestions you have moving forward, please leave them in the comments. Let's go ahead and get started. As we rise from our grave. So I really like the tutorial area. I think it's a, I think it's a good start. Um, better than, is it better than Dark Souls 2? I don't know. A lot of people give Dark Souls 2 crap. I actually like it. Okay, so uh, two little disclaimers. One, this is the Xbox version, the uh, Japanese that I was playing on. was a PS4 download. So, a little bit different controls. Um, well, not controls, but controller. Uh, so I'll have to get used to that. Uh, there's that. Look at that mace, man. That is such a strong, strong attack. But it's a slow attack, so we're going to have to work with that. Okay, shield, parry. I'm going to have to get used to this Xbox controller. The other thing is that in Japan... The X and O button, or your A and B button, are reversed. So A is going to be what we use to select a lot of things, all right? And if you were on a PlayStation controller, it would be X. But in Japan, they use O for select, uh, and we use O for back. And so that's a little bit different. It's going to take me a while to get used to that, because uh, I'm used to running the other way. I'm used to selecting things the other way. So if it's too much, I might mess with the controls, but I need to get back into our version. Uh, so hopefully we can get that. Oh man, look at the power behind that mace. Hopefully I can get used to it. See, I'm already trying to run and I'm hitting the wrong button. But we will figure it out. I'll try not to complain about that too much. Alright. Soul of the Deserted Corpse. Hopefully we can uh, get used to it quick. All right, uh, and to show item info, back out of there. All right, soul found on a deserted corpse used to acquire souls. Let the firekeeper transform the sovereignless soul into a source of strength for the unkindled to be a vessel for souls. So everybody knows what those are. Pop them, we get some souls. I try to hang on to some of them uh, for items if you need. Maybe to pick an ember up here and there. Uh, we did pick a cleric, so let's make sure the talisman is there. I think what I want to do... Is, uh, oh, we have the chime on the cleric. So let's put the chime in my other hand so that I can easily pop off the shield, cast that heal, and get back. Okay. Had to do it. Had to check it out. I'm going to enjoy that. Oh! Oh, 158 on the full swing. Not bad. 
that was where I backed off a little. Okay, so we got our first Ashen Estus. Remember to pick this up. I've seen a couple people already not pick that up. I don't know how you miss it, but the ones that do miss it do not get to upgrade their Estus Flask until they come all the way back and get it. So don't forget it. 198 on the backstab. Wow. That's... That is intense. Okay, yeah. 158 on the full swing. This is a pretty good mace. Um, this is not a bad starting weapon. I think, if anything, it's a little slow. But we can, we can work with that. I mean, we're just one-shotting these enemies right now, so... Can't really complain about that. Alright, gotta get used to the dodge. Definitely gotta get used to the dodge, so. Okay. guys don't want to fight the crystal lizard, uh, grab the soul, continue on your way. There's no really reason to fight him now. Uh, you do get a scale, but you can't even really use the scale right now. Like, you have to be a higher level to even use it, so if, it's, if you don't want to fight him, don't. I, I got killed to him. I think that when we upgrade our weapon like once or twice, it'll be really easy to come back and just pick up that. But, I don't know. It, it, you get a lot of souls for doing it, so it might be worth doing it if you if you just want the souls to level. But so You put a couple skills in, you get a better weapon. Uh, we're going to try to get the katana quick, and you come back and knock him out. Alright, so here's the first bonfire. So you also should see all the achievements pop uh, on this playthrough because this is the first one I'm doing on the Xbox. Come on, buddy. Oh. Alright. I was a little slow with that. That was my fault. You got anybody down there? I don't see anybody down there. Oh, there's one down there. There is one, but there's two over here. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God. All right, guys, this is going, uh, it's going extremely well. I think you tricked me into a faith build here. Right off the bat, two deaths. But we're going to stay clear of the lizard. We'll continue on right now. Ouch! Man, these guys are not messing around, so the cleric, not the best defense, I must say. But luckily, we pack a punch. Also gotta get used to that dodge. Right now, I'm not used to it. Oh. Okay. This weapon is so slow, too. I'm not going to try to make excuses, but just it, from playing the Sorcerer playthrough to this, I'm already noticing a lot of differences. Okay, there's two guys down here. Kind of... Oh, and one guy up here. Heal up. This is actually really, really handy. Right. I thought you were able to jump down on him. It looks like you are. Jump down on him. You can usually get your shield up before you get uh, 
hit there. All right, fire bombs. Everybody loves the fire bomb. We will bring, we will heal ourselves before we go in there. But let's see if we can get this. go. And the Titanite Shard. I'm so used to hitting the buttons the other way now. It's going to take a while uh, to get into this. Alright, so we have the Fire Bombs. Fire Damage, which differs from physical damage. It's highly effective against creatures of flesh, and that's how the fire sword is going to work for us. Uh, when we infuse our weapon with fire, there'll be physical damage on the weapon and fire damage. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out, though, was this fire gem that we took as our opening present. Uh, used to infusion to create fire weapons. And then we just got a titanite shard. And they're fragments. So the titanite shard goes up to plus three. And like I said, from the, from the lizard, I believe you get a titanite slab or a large titanite. Uh, and that is for up to plus five. Drop attack. Nothing off of him. I was kind of hoping that I would pick up some goodies with the luck. These guys don't really have much, though. Alright, let's heal up and move on to the first boss. Actually got an uh, Ashen Flask, too. Hopefully we won't have to use all of these Estus, but you never know. These guys can be tricky. There's nothing in this area, uh, just good views. Just excellent views. Uh, that's where we're headed. This is where we came from. Beautiful scenery. Notice the stuff coming out of his back there. Something is a mess with this dude. Alright. Now, I'm used to casting this fool down. Not gonna be able to do that. Gonna have to get used to uh, fighting him, so. Maybe not get too greedy is the key here. Was that greedy? I didn't think that was too greedy. We're going to pop this heal a chance. Not the fastest of heals. Almost to half health. And we're going to see him transform here. Get your hits in quick when he does drop. He will come back up fairly fast. Oh, not cool. Did not expect that. And down. All right, nice. I was afraid first attempt I was going to fail there. Just kind of stay underneath him when he transforms and uh, watch out for those little spin attacks. Alright, so you actually pick up two trophies here. Uh, one for beating the boss and another immediately after for going Ember. So, go ahead and take the coil sword, like the bonfire. Alright, so we've got a couple nice things. The coil sword is the 
main gift. Alright, a sword missing from the shrine bonfire cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. This sword is only beneath to chosen Ash, as judged by Eudix, who awaits the arrival of Ash. Alright, so basically, if you beat him, you get the sword. That's our prize, and we take it. The cool part about Dark Souls 3 that I really enjoyed was the bonfire trap. I was wondering if they were going to put that in there. Um, it's not that I didn't appreciate finding things and, and taking my time walking around like Dark Souls 1, but the bonfire travel, man, it's, it's kind of nice. Alright, broken straight sword there, so nothing too crazy. There are a couple guys down below that we can hit up first before we go up. Keep hitting A to jump and dodge. I'm gonna have to get used to not doing that. Okay. Very nice. Alright, homeward bone. Should all know what that is. Take us back to a bonfire or to Fire Link Shrine. I guess we might as well just say spoilers ahead. I mean, I've already played the game. I've already got a playthrough up. We know where places are. We know this is Firelink Shrine. So if you're looking for a spoiler-free or blind playthrough, I have my Sorcerer playthrough up. Go watch that. Um, the whole thing's there. And that's a blind playthrough. That's worth watching. This one, we know what's going on. Okay, perfect. I thought he dropped something, but I guess not. Oh! I was gonna say, are we gonna be able to get him? Oh, man. That, just like those... Alright, Cleric's Sacred Chime. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I did not expect to get another one of those, so. Why we have two, I don't know. Uh, but you equip the Talisman or Sacred Chime to cast Miracles. Miracles must be attuned at a bonfire before use, just like uh, the regular... Just like the regular spells. Um, gentle Prayer is the skill. It recovers HP for a period of time extremely slowly. Works while equipped in either hand. So just by having this equipped... Oh, sorry, I took it off. Silly me. As the game continues, I'm going to get better at the controls for Xbox, so bear with me for the early part. All right. So just holding it, if you look at our... There we go. So we use just a little bit of FP, which is our mana, and you can see our health just start going up, so... That is its skill. You could call it a weapon art. Um, that's... I don't mind not kicking them off. I mean, it's kind of cool too, but if you drop something, I like it. I like picking up my shinies. Alright, guys, so here's Firelink Shrine. Um, I believe there's an item over here. Walk all the way around. Stupid dog. Yes. Alright, an ember. Now, an ember is like a humanity, so instead of being howl and needing to return human, we're going to ember ourselves, and that's... It's kind of a cool system. I actually like this. Uh, I don't know if I like it better, but I, I do like it. 
don't know how I should say that, but uh, it, you go embered. So I, not only do you look sweet with all those embers around you, but you also uh, get like 30% extra health, and it uh, gives you the ability, uh, just like the humanity, to summon players and, and do multiplayer and stuff. So, all right, up there is Naked Dude with our katana. And we are going to come and get that, but he might kick our ass. I don't know. So at first, we will go hit the bonfire and go in to Firelink Shrine. So here we go. I know it looks a little different. Um, it most definitely is. I don't think you're going to find much of a resemblance to Firelink Shrine uh, with this, but it is here. We also have a cast of characters awaiting us. So, First off, the Firekeeper. Welcome to the bonfire, Unkindled One. I am a Firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The Lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Okay, so the lords have left their thrones. There's a couple thrones up here, all right? One, two, three, and then four. The fifth throne actually has a guy in it, and we will go talk to him. But that is basically our quest here. We will kill the four lords, replace them at their throne, and then uh, and carry on. So you can level up with the Firekeeper, like always. Then touch the take nourish. And I, like I said, I think we're going to go... Dex build. It almost makes more sense to go strength because we have a higher strength, but uh, dexterity is going to work out better for us because, for one, uh, we'll be able to use fast weapons. And I'm already going to be a light character, not wanting to put on too much stuff. And uh, for two, your dexterity will help you cast faster. So that will help with our miracles in the end by being able to cast faster. Uh, so we already have 16 faith, so we're not skimping on the faith by going right in to dexterity, but we might also want to, at the same time, kind of work on on vigor and get our health up. I'm not 100% sure how I want to do this yet, so bear with me if I make some mistakes in the early section. We can always respec later on. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but let's just, for right now, let's just carry on. So right off the bat, Farewell, level up. One. Now, we have that coiled sword that we got. We'll be able to embed that here. And this will be our main bonfire that we'll continuously come back to. All right. Perfect. Now, we have a couple other people here. This old lady is a merchant. As we move on, we'll be finding different things that we can bring her. Action One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but... Not so charitable as to give my goods away. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is I want, no? <laughs> All right, that is what we want. So uh, she has a couple of good items off the bat, like the heal aid, which we already have. Um, different things, white soapstone couple spells if you are a caster, I think. And this talisman, uh, we don't really need that. Chain armor. You know, like I said, good stuff. But as we go, we will be picking up ashes. Ashen and when we bring her the ashes, uh, like paladin ashes, things like that, she will increase her wares. Uh, another person. I think we all know Andre. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. 
You're in search of the Lords of Cinder, I trust. A toilsome journey, I wager. You'll require good arms. Let me smith your weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. Such is his purpose. Okay, so we're going to be coming here quite a bit. Uh, this is one of the newest things, the Alat Estus. He will also reinforce your Estus Blast, so we don't need to go to the Fire Keeper for that. Um, right now we don't have any, but he will be the one to upgrade when we do find the Estus Shards. Uh, Alat Estus is where we are able to switch between Manta and Health. So, at this point right now, I'm just going to stick it all on Health, because I'm not... I know that the healing spell actually does better. You know what? Let me do this. Let me put one in there. We have a couple things that we need to do first before I get too into the faith bill here. So, uh, repair equipment. The bonfires will repair everything, but if it completely breaks down, you have to bring it here and he will fix it for you. Infuse weapon, which we could actually do right now and infuse this weapon uh, with the fire gem that I picked up as my first item and you can see right now it drops the physical but it adds the lightning or the fire damage it also gets rid of the scaling so something to think about there let's go ahead and uh, back out though and reinforce weapon which we have two titanite shards oh you need two we only have one at the moment so also to, to upgrade Pretty be uh, careful we'll leave him for a second there is two more people will check out here before we move on and uh, the last thing we'll do in this area before we leave is go and pick up the katana. All right, here is one of the Lords of Cinder. This is the one that we don't have to go kill, uh, but he is in here, and this is where you're going to take your boss souls to trade in. Oh, thou art unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver, no need to recall. Have a closer look. No style of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is, I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small. But I will die a colossus. No style of our purpose. Five thrones. Okay, so I think until we actually uh, defeat the first main boss, we can't trade in souls here. Um, but anyway, so five lords of cinder. We need to find them all, and then we can link the flame. We have a weary traveler over here. This is the last guy we're going to talk to in here at the moment. Ah. Uh. Another one, roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to loot the fire. Not fit to lick their boots. All right, get the collapse. Don't you think? <laughs> and I believe this is Hawkmoon. Um, you end up getting to use him as an NPC summon later. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends, those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> okay, so, you see he's having a bad day. Uh, but that is pretty much it for right now in Firelink. We're going to go ahead and 
try to go get that katana right now. This first area is is pretty much tutorial. There isn't much to do in here, and that's I'm kind of being pretty explainy about what's going on now because of that. The next videos probably won't be so explainy feeling. I, I, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a professional, but this first area is pretty easy to go through. All right, more ember. And was there anything else you could get on this side right now? Yes. Another homeward bone. All right. So that's pretty much all the items out here right now. Uh, there is a top to Firelink Shrine, which we might be able to get to um, if they haven't fixed that shortcut. They probably haven't. I'll show you that in a second if we can do it. It's a very hard thing to, to swallow. Okay, this guy is very hard. Now, on my caster, I was able to take him out amazingly quick. Uh, but I just basically nerfed him. Because he didn't want to come down these steps. Let's see if he'll do it. Yeah, see, he didn't want to come down those steps, and I was able to just end up casting away at him. do is probably just keep trying to entice him back. Oh, no! The stagger is strong with this mace, but it's going to be a rough deal getting this katana. Alright, so here's the outside of Firelink Shrine. For some reason, with the fog walls up, I don't understand what that's all about. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. Alright, so I did that probably about 30 times. Uh, but if you do run up that tree right, apparently you still can get up here early. And this is uh, a really a really big thing early on if you can do it. Um, Homeward Bone, not that big of a deal. But there is a couple things up here. It costs 20000 for the key. So you, you're still going to need to get the key and come up here. But if you can make that jump and you're patient and you can do it early, there's Katana Guy. We still have to take him out. Look at Katana guy. Look at him. He's angry. Tell you what, I might try to jump drop attack on him. Okay, but if you come back here, there's a crystal lizard. You don't really need it right now, but why not get it? Your first one. Right, and get that twinkling. Okay, this will drop you back down, and as you can see, if you get on the roof, you can drop the ladder, but you need 20,000 to get the key to go in here. But the main reason that we did this was for a couple items that'll really help you out in the beginning of the game if you can do this. 20,000 souls is a lot to come by, and when you get 20,000, it might not be worth it to you to spend them on this key unless you really enjoy farming. If that's your thing. Uh, but we'll come in here. You'll we'll see there's an item up top. Be very careful now. We're on top of Firelink Shrine. You. You. Yep. Pickle P is back. 
and he is there to give you some items. Now, the one thing different this time is that there is no silky smooth. So, Estes Shard. And I can't remember. Oh, it's that way. Uh, there is no silky smooth in this, so you are going to give him different items for different things. There is a list online if you're very interested. Uh, when you come over here, though, there's secret wall, and we can run in. Drop. This is not a mimic, so don't be afraid. The chain is curled inward. Alright, and we get the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring. Now, this is going to be extremely helpful to you early on. Because for one, you don't really have any rings, and Fallen Folds yield more souls. So, extremely powerful early on in the game. Alright, let's go ahead and drop back down. And things are really working out for us now. I'm glad we made that jump. Happy to show you that. Alright, guys, so that is going to be it. Uh, we got an Estus Shard, which we can actually go ahead and take to Andre. I might as well show you that real quick. Uh, so you see, we have three health shards and one Ashen. Uh, we go to Andre. Just good, what neat. Reinforce Estus. Okay, and we are good to go. So when we head back over, it automatically goes into a health. If you want to transfer it, you can do the a lot. Uh, so when we rest at a bonfire, there you go. Now we have four, so that's an extra Estus right off the bat. Uh, so in the next video, we'll be moving on to the high wall of Lothric and continuing our adventure. So I want to thank you guys for being here. If you guys want to see more playthroughs, hit up my Sorcerer playthrough. Other than that... I'll see you guys on the next one. Guys, this is Zero, and I'm out.